Today we'll be making the Wagyu Katsu, which just means Japanese beef cutlet. I went to my favorite department store in Tokyo and got this. A cut of Wagyu from the Yamagata prefecture. Known for its agricultural products and natural beauty. Where the cattle live stress-free lives, making their meat extra delicious for our eating pleasure. The cut that I'll be using is called the Shinshin, located between the flank and the round, but more tender than both. The sirloin is another good option for this dish. So let's unwrap it. Ooh, nice marbleization. This cut is usually just pure red meat, but that's the power of Wagyu. Then sprinkle some salt and pepper, flip it over and do the same for the other side. All right, now let's prepare the batter mix. Pour some flour onto a tray. The exact amount doesn't matter, just enough to cover your meat. Now put some breadcrumbs into a bag or a bowl. Then crush it up to make it finer. Because I'm using Wagyu, I don't want it to be too crispy, but you can skip this step if you prefer it that way. Crack open an egg. Then mix it up evenly. All right, now we're all set. Place the meat onto the flour tray. Flip it over and cover the other side. Make sure you cover the edges as well. And brush off any chunks to help prevent the breading from separating when frying. Now place it onto the egg tray. Again, making sure all sides are evenly covered. Finally, put it onto the breadcrumbs tray. Flip it over and move it around to cover all sides. Use your fingers to cover any bald spots. All set, ready to be fried. Now get a stove in a pot or a pan and pour enough frying oil to cover the thickness of your meat. Set it to high heat until it reaches about 360 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, put some breadcrumbs in. If they fizzle, then slowly spread out. You're good to go. All right, now let's put the meat in. Ugh, I just love that initial frying sound. This meat is only about a quarter of an inch thick, so I'll fry it for one minute for medium rare. Your meat will likely be girthier, so you may need to fry it for longer, but try not to exceed a minute and 30 seconds, as the breading will burn and the meat overcooked at this high temperature. Move it around occasionally and flip it over about two thirds of the way through. It might be best to use a cheaper cut of meat at first to find your optimal frying time. It's done, so take it out. Hold it vertically for a few seconds so the oil drips down and not back onto the meat. Then let it rest for five minutes as it continues cooking and the juices settle. While we wait, let's set up the plate with some veggies and the sauce. For the veggies, we'll just use some cabbages, so let's cut it out. I'm just cutting out the core, ripping out a couple of leaves, flattening them out, and cutting them into thin slices. Yeah, I wish I could cut this fast. Okay, now I'm gonna put it onto this new Japanese plate I got. Gonna make it a little fluffy. Now for the sauce, we actually don't need any because the Wagyu has so much flavor in the meat. So we don't want to taint it with anything else. So we're going to keep it super simple with a little bit of soy sauce, some wasabi, and a dash of salt for good measure. If you're not using Wagyu, I recommend this tonkatsu sauce you can find at your local Asian grocery. All right, we're all set and the meat is ready to be cut. There is no right thickness, but I recommend about an inch or so for an easier eating experience. Place it gently onto your plate. Gonna rearrange a bit for the thumbnail and finished. So good! Oh my god! It has such a unique sensation. Like, I feel the crunch when I chew into it, but as soon as I start biting, it just melts right in your mouth. It is amazing! That is not even like the highest rank of Wagyu. Like, that is like definitely, definitely good, but there are like higher tier ones, like the Kobe beef. But my god, like, it still tastes amazing. And I actually went to the department store with the intent of um, buying like the most expensive cut of Wagyu I could find. But it turns out that at the same department store, there is a men's clothing section. And I was kind of browsing the store and I ended up coming across this blazer that you see here. So I um, decided to buy this instead. Bed. I mean like yeah maybe maybe I'm a cooking channel I'm in Japan I should try to like showcase like the highest end stuff but you know what I'm gonna be wearing this blazer every in every single one of my one of my videos so I think uh, 
in the long run, I think the better bang for the buck, or the yen, I guess. But uh, yeah, I have to start packing because I am leaving tomorrow. I'll be back in New York, back to my regular old kitchen. But I have all these new ideas that I want. Uh, new recipes. I just got so inspired just going around and eating at these restaurants, visiting all these department stores. All right, finished. Uh, I guess the cabbages are still there, but you know, I actually don't like eating cabbages. This was just for decoration. So I hope to see you back in New York. Bye.